James Webb Telescope Unexpected Discovery can detect water on distant planets. Some of the most astonishing discoveries made by the powerful James Webb Telescope, or JWST for short, will not be captured in pretty pictures. Instead, the instrument can detect the atmosphere of exoplanets or planets beyond our solar system. Recently, NASA revealed that the JWST had detected the signature of water and clouds and haze in the atmosphere of a hot, puffy gas giant planet orbiting a sun-like star over a thousand light years away. This significant discovery could help us understand more about the habitability of distant planets. In this video, we are going to discuss why this discovery is important, what are the implications of this discovery, and if you stay until the end, you will discover how this can help us understand the habitability on distant exoplanets. The U.S. Space Agency said the discovery of specific gas molecules based on tiny decreases in the brightness of specific light colors is the most detailed of its kind to date, demonstrating Webb's unprecedented ability to analyze atmospheres hundreds of light years away. While the Hubble Space Telescope has studied numerous exoplanet atmospheres over the last two decades, including the first clear detection of water in 2013, Webb's immediate and more detailed observation represents a significant step forward in the quest to discover and quantify potentially habitable planets beyond Earth. The JWST is designed not only to study the structure of the universe, but also the countless exoplanets littered across it. In a new report, NASA has announced that the JWST has detected signs of water on a distant planet, along with evidence of clouds and haze. This is a huge development, as it could potentially help us find habitable planets. The JWST is a large infrared optimized space telescope near Earth's Lagrange Point 2 or L2. This means that this space telescope does not orbit the Earth. Instead, it orbits the Sun at a distance of nearly 1.5 million kilometers, or 1 million miles from Earth. That's almost four times further away than our Moon. The JWST has a primary mirror of 6.5 meters, or 21.3 feet in diameter, a field view 15 times larger than the Hubble Space Telescope, and can detect extremely faint infrared light from objects in the early universe that existed as far back as 13.4 billion years ago. In an attempt to demonstrate Webb's unparalleled ability to analyze distant atmospheres, NASA has chosen to observe WASP-96b, one of more than 5,000 confirmed exoplanets in the Milky Way. It is located approximately 1,120 light years away in the southern sky constellation Phoenix. WASP 96b is puffier than any planet orbiting our Sun. It has a mass less than half of Jupiter and a diameter 1.2 times larger. It is also significantly hotter, with temperatures exceeding 538 degrees Celsius. NASA claims that WASP-96b makes one orbit around its sun-like star every three and a half Earth days, while orbiting at a distance one-ninth that of Mercury and our Sun. Because of its large size, short orbital period, puffy atmosphere, and lack of contaminating light from nearby objects, WASP-96b is an ideal target for atmospheric observations. Webb's Near Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph, or NEARIS for short, measured light from the WASP-96 system for 6.4 hours on June 21st as the planet passed across the star. The result is a light curve that shows the overall dimming of starlight during the transit and a transmission spectrum that shows the brightness change of individual wavelengths of infrared light between 0.6 and 2.8 microns. While the light curve confirms the planet's existence, size, and orbit, the transmission spectrum also reveals previously hidden details of the atmosphere. The unambiguous signature of water, indications of haze, and evidence of clouds that were once thought not to exist based on prior observations. A transmission spectrum is created by comparing starlight filtered through a planet's atmosphere 
as it moves across the star to unfiltered starlight detected when the planetary object is beside the star. Based on the absorption pattern, the locations and heights of peak positions, researchers can detect and measure the abundance of critical gases in a planet's atmosphere. Similar to how people have unique fingerprints and DNA sequences, atoms and molecules have distinct patterns of wavelengths that they absorb. The nearest captured spectrum of WASP-96b is not only the most detailed near-infrared transmission spectrum of an exoplanet atmosphere to date, but it also covers a vast range of wavelengths, including visible red light and a portion of the spectrum not previously accessible from other telescopes, wavelengths longer than 1.6 microns. This spectrum region is susceptible to water, and other key molecules such as oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide, which are not immediately visible in the WASP-96b spectrum, but should be detectable in other exoplanets planned for Webb's observations. Researchers will be able to use the spectrum to estimate the atmosphere's temperature with depth, measure the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere, and constrain the abundance of various elements such as carbon and oxygen. They can then use this information to conclude the planet's overall composition and how, when, and where it formed. Webb's cutting-edge design allows for exceptional detail and clarity in these measurements. Its 270-square-foot gold-coated mirror collects infrared light very efficiently. Its precision spectrographs disperse light into thousands of infrared color rainbows, and its sensitive infrared detectors detect even the smallest differences in brightness. The NIRAs can detect color differences as minor as one thousandth of a micron, the difference between green and yellow is about 50 thousandths of a micron, and brightness difference as minor as a few hundred parts per million. Furthermore, Webb's extreme stability and orbital location around Lagrange Point 2, roughly a million miles away from the contaminating effects of Earth's atmosphere, provide an uninterrupted view and clean data that can be analyzed quickly. The highly detailed spectrum created by analyzing 280 individual spectra captured during the observation is just a taste of what Webb has in store for exoplanet research. Researchers will use spectroscopy to examine the surfaces and atmospheres of several dozen exoplanets, ranging from small rocky planets to gas and ice rich giants over the next year. Exoplanets and the materials that form them will receive nearly a quarter of Webb's Cycle 1 observation time. This nearest observation demonstrates Webb's ability to characterize the atmospheres of exoplanets in exquisite detail, including those of potentially habitable planets. This discovery is extremely important to expand our scientific understanding of exoplanets, because as you know, water is a key ingredient for life. So the presence of water on distant planets could signify that there is life out there. This discovery could help us find other life forms in the universe and better understand our place in the cosmos. With the help of this new tool, we can search for water on other planets and learn more about their climate and geology. This information could be vital for future exploration missions, which would be a huge step forward in our search for extraterrestrial life. This discovery also suggests that there may be many more planets with the potential to support life as we know it. Additionally, it could help us understand how life originated on our planet. We are still in the early stages of understanding the full implications of this discovery, but it has the potential to change the way we view the universe and our place in it. So what does this mean for our search for water on distant planets? In recent years, there has been growing evidence that the universe is not as random as we once thought. Various studies have shown that there are patterns and cycles in the universe that seem to defy the laws of chance. This has led some leaders in the scientific community to postulate that there may likely be a grand design at work and that we could be part of a cosmic plan. Some believe that if there is a grand plan at work, then it is possible that there are other planets with the same or similar conditions to our own. This would increase the chances of finding water on those planets However, others believe that the universe is so vast and diverse that the chances of finding another planet with the same conditions as Earth are very slim. 
This discovery could help us find water on planets that were previously thought to be uninhabitable, and it could also help us better understand the strange and mysterious universe we live in. Because JWST can detect water on distant planets, which can help us learn more about their habitability, it can also measure the amount of water present. This information can be used to determine if a planet is habitable or not. Additionally, JWST can also help us understand the climate and atmosphere of a planet, which are both important factors in habitability. While this discovery is certainly exciting, it's important to remember that we don't yet know if these distant planets are habitable. Many factors go into habitability, and we have not yet been able to study these distant planets in detail. However, the James Webb Space Telescope is changing that and offers us this valuable opportunity to explore a potentially habitable planet in greater detail, which could help us understand the habitability of various worlds.